Hello all and welcome back to this session on Blue Prism. In this module, I'm going to talk about error handling. Like in any other programming language, we see that we can run across exceptions or errors. And when these errors happen, the program crashes. Uh, so if we want to avoid uh, that crashing of the program, then we need to handle that error in one way or the other. So here in Blue Prism also, just as in any other programming language, we have uh, try catch blocks. Similarly, here we have recover resume stages. So I'll show you a demo on exception handling. I'll create a new process. Exception management. Click finish. And I will open this process. In this process, what I'll do is I'll do something silly. I'll take a calculation stage, open it, and uh, I'll divide by zero. So I'll say 10 divided by zero, store the result in result, click this data item, click OK, and I will link these stages together. So if I run this, I should be getting an exception that uh, the exception type is internal and the exception detail is fail to evaluate expression 10 upon 0, division by 0. So we saw that this is throwing an exception and it's stopping the process to continue further. We cannot, con if this is the only stage, but had there been more stages after this, we couldn't continue to those stages because of this exception. So what we can do is to recover out of these exceptions, we can use this recover resume stage. So if I take a recover resume stage and uh, link them together, and from the resume stage, I'll make it go to the end stage. So what this recover resume stage does is, within these two stages, we can handle the exception, take some uh, recovery logic, and then we can resume the normal path. Though here I have made the resume stage link to the end stage, but I can make it link to any other stage as well in the process. So let's run this. It divides, uh, the exception occurs, but then it was, that exception was attracted by this recover stage. It took this path and went this way. So we saw that uh, we could catch exceptions by using this recover resume stage. Now what we can do within recover resume stages, maybe we can take a corrective action. Uh, if if we see that it's a divide by zero exception, maybe we can uh, take a, uh, take some other new denominator and divide by that. We can even uh, see which exception actually happened uh, by looking into the exception detail and exception type. So I'll take another calculation stage, open it, and we'll say get exception details. And I will try to see what are the what exception actually happened. So to see that exception, we have some functions available in Blue Prism. So here, if I expand the ex exceptions, uh, we can see that uh, we, we can see what is the exception type, and uh, I'll maybe concatenate it with the exception detail. So I'm getting exception type colon exception detail, and I will store it in somewhere. So this is my exception detail data item. Okay, and I create that, click OK. Now I link this. So, so this will try to get the exception that actually happened because of which it's in this uh, recovery mode. So this portion between recover and resume stage is called the recovery mode. So why it is in recovery mode, what is the exception type, what is the exception detail would be captured and stored in this data item. So let's run this. So we see that it, let me open this, it says exception type is internal 
and exception detail is fail to evaluate expression 10 upon 0 division by 0. So we can uh, catch exceptions, we can get uh, the type of the exception, get the detail of the exception and based on that maybe we can take some corrective action and then we can make it resume from uh, from the next stage after this or, or whatever is our business requirement uh, or maybe we can terminate as we have done over here. Okay, so that's how we can catch exceptions. Now, what if I want to have a different uh, ex recovery mode for for uh, different stages? Maybe for this particular stage, I want uh, the exception to be uh, handled by this recovered stage. But let's say I have another uh, stage, and I want for that uh, some maybe some other recover re resume uh, stages should be handling that. For example, what I'll do is let me. Uh, copy this and I'll create another pair of it and uh, maybe I'll sorry I'll link this resume to this end stage okay so so I have another uh, recover resume stages and you can see that recover stages just like a start stage they do not have an entry point uh, they do not have an entry link. They only have an exit link. So because uh, these stages are jumped to by the exceptions that are happening on my process. So if I reset and, and run this, we do not know which recover stage will be able to handle this exception. So, so you can see that it is going to the first recover resume stage. It does, it's not even coming to this. So had we got some other recovery logic over here it would not come over here so if I want maybe for this stage I want uh, this recover stage uh, stage should be handling the exception so I use the block stage for that so I'll draw a block stage not a process okay I cannot draw drag a block stage I can I can, can only draw a block stage so I have a block stage and within that block stage, what I have done is, okay, so within this block stage, I have placed the stage that is causing the exception and also the recovered stage. So any exception that occurs within this block stage would be handled by this particular recovery stage and not this one. So if I run it, we see that the exception moves to the uh, to the except to this over here, and we can see it's uh, the de the exception type and exception detail was uh, the same as we had seen earlier. Okay, so uh, so that's how we can control like which recovered stage should be handling uh, exceptions occurring uh, from a particular stage. Okay, by drawing the block stages. Uh, one thing that Blue Prism talks about block st uh, stages is that uh, you you cannot be having nested block stages or overlapping block stages. Uh, so the indication is clear from Blue Prism that do not nest or overlap the block stages. They have to be distinct from each other. Okay. So and and the purpose of the block stage is that any exception that occurs within this block stage would be uh, consumed by the recovery stage which is within that block stage so I have, to, I have just one single stage over here but if I have multiple stages uh, within this block stage any exception that happens in those stages would be caught by this recovered stage so block stages are used to control like which exceptions like which all stages will be using which recover stage okay so that was uh, recover resume in short uh, then there are some more uh, details about it, uh, like exception bubbling. If I have a nest, if I have hierarchy of pages, for example, if I draw or if I take a page stage over here, okay, and uh, add a new page and create a reference to it, click next. So the, I go to page one, click finish. So it creates a page one on my uh, in my process studio. And here, what I'll do is maybe uh, I'll I'll 
maybe I'll take divide by zero result copy them and put that over here just so that we have an exception over here as well so, so I can see there's an error let me open this uh, okay missing link on main page for page one okay go back to page one I need to include page one in my flow because it was just floating around okay so I've made page one also in my uh, flow so what will happen is uh, when it divides by zero it will come to this recover stage and then after this resume it should go to page one so let me draw a link between this and this okay then it will execute this page one and it will come to page one here it will throw an exception uh, since there's no one to handle that exception on this page so that exception will bubble up to the main page and on the main page uh, since this page one is not within any block stage so any recover stage which is outside that block stage which is this one will be able to attract that exception and uh, it will come over here so maybe uh, yeah so let's run this I'll reset and run So it comes to page one and there also it threw an exception and uh, it took this particular recover stage because of that exception so we saw that we are able to uh, see exception bubbling if any nested pages a page is having exception and there is not, no one to handle that exception on that page then that exception bubbles up to the, to one level higher and uh, if it is ha if it is not handled over there then it bubbles up one level still one level higher and it keeps on bubbling until it reaches the main page and if it's if it's not handled at the main page also then that will stop the process from executing okay so this was like exception bubbling uh, another thing I want to show you is that uh, maybe we can have let me say uh, you can also throw exceptions so if I take this copy it put it on page one okay now I have a recover stage on the page one as well and uh, let's say I am not uh, okay let me first see if I link this okay so here when it will divide by zero now since we have a recover stage here itself it will be handled here only and will not go up to the main page so when I run this it will start from the main page then goes to page one exception occurs on page one and it is handled here only so once it's handled it comes to the main page now it didn't come to this particular recover stage at all this uh, because the exception that occurred over here was being handled here itself okay uh, let me show one more thing that uh, let's say that within this recovery mode uh, let me uh, take uh, maybe what I can do is I can rethrow that exception so I'll take an exception stage and uh, join the link from here and uh, have it here so exception stages they only have entry points they do not have an exit point from them so we cannot draw an exit link from here so uh, if I reset and uh, there are some errors because th some stages are not linked for example this stage is not linked okay also within this I need to configure what exception it is so I'll say this exception is uh, division exception and detail is cannot divide by zero okay so I'm throwing an exception within this uh, recovery stage let's see what happens when I run it comes to page one and here it will throw my custom exception so you can see over here that this thing string changes and if I open it up I can see the exception now is division exception colon cannot divide by zero this is my custom exception that I threw from my page one okay so 
you, uh, even though the exception was uh, divided by zero exception, but we are throwing my own custom exception over here. So this is, uh, and, and this exception stage, it need not be with only within your recovery resume stage. You can have this exception stage anywhere in my main process flow as well. Uh, it's not just limited to keeping within the recovery resume stage. You can have it anywhere. But if you want to re-throw an exception, like here I threw a custom exception. If I want to re-throw the same exception because of which it is within this recover resume stage, uh, then what I can do is I can open this exception stage and click on this checkbox which says preserve the type and detail of the current exception. So when I click this checkbox, these fields, exception type and exception detail, they are grayed out. I cannot edit these fields. I cannot type into these fields. What it will do is it will preserve the current exception. So you need to check this checkbox only when you're within the recovery mode. Outside recovery mode, the exception no longer exists. So there is no point in preserving the exception type and detail. Okay, so just preserve the type and detail only when you're within the recovery mode. Now within this recovery mode, I'm re-throwing. This is called exception re-throw. So I'm re-throwing the exception uh, by checking that checkbox. Now it will throw that same exception which because of which it is in the recovery mode. So let me reset and run it. So it comes here and it re-throws the exception. So you can see the string is still the same. Uh, let me open it. It says internal fail to write expression 10 by 0 division by 0. So I'm getting the old exception. Why? Because now I am re-throwing the same exception because of this checkbox that I have ticked over here. So you cannot, if you have an exception stage outside the recover resume stage, that's fine. But if that exception stage, which is outside recover resume stage is also having the preserve checkbox as ticked, then you know that you're not doing something right and Blue Prism will complain about that when you run it. Okay, so that's how we handle exceptions like uh, we, we use recover resume stages and if we have multiple recover resume stages we can use block stages to control like which all stages will be having their exceptions going to which uh, recover resume stages then if we have nested pages or if we are calling uh, any um, objects from our from our process diagrams and exception occurs over there then if if there is no recover resume on those uh, on those sub pages or in the business objects, then that exception will bubble up uh, one level higher until um, it reaches to a place where there is a recover resume stage to handle that exception. And if, if there is no recover resume stage uh, all up to the top of the main page, then the process would be aborted uh, and we get an exception. And, uh, uh, and I showed you about that we can use uh, exception stages to throw uh, either our own exceptions or to throw the existing exception. Existing exceptions can be rethrown only within the recover resume stage. Uh, if you try to rethrow an ex existing exception outside recover resume stage, you will be creating another exception in your process. So that's all that I wanted to show you about exception handling. And uh, uh, we'll continue our discussion on Blue Prism in the next module. Thanks everyone.